gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Exodus chapter 31, verse 16 to 17. It says, Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. Everybody say refreshed. God wants us to be refreshed. It is a must. We can't work like Jaka. It's not possible. We can't give ourselves to a devotion of Bulldog. It also means that we can't give ourselves to be used and dumped. Anything that is offering you a language of use and dumb is actually against the rest of God. That is not inscribed in the plan of God for your life. That must be rejected. God does not ask us to manage unrest. He wants us to be able to accept the rest. Amen. We enter into his rest. Like the book of Hebrews chapter 4 says, enter into his rest. Not manage it. You have to enter it. Hallelujah. Why the need for rest? Jesus commanded all who believe him must rest. That's the reason why we need that rest. We need to get our rest. In this new semester, it's a must. Hallelujah. Everybody says it's a must. It's a must. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Matthew 11, verse 28 to 29. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. We're going to learn from God, from the creation of the whole world. Learn from me. God, Christ has come to fulfill the law, to fulfill God himself. God gave the example that I need to rest. I'm the creator of the heavens and earth. That's it. Time for me to rest. Christ came to duplicate that, that spirit. He says, my friend, you need to learn from me. I am not walking, just walking, just walking. I have no peace in my heart. Not, that's not what I call you for. I call you for peace and joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. So learn of me. For I am gentle and lonely. Lonely what? Lonely in earth. And you will find rest for your souls. Hallelujah. You will find it. Rest needs to be found. When somebody disconnected from rest, that is a big deal. Amen. That's putting oneself in slavery. And every spirit of slavery today that is making you to say, okay, just keep on like that, the way you are doing. I rebook it today in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Always remember what I tell you today. God commanded that you rest. You need your rest. You have to enter into your rest. You can't keep walking and walking and walking. You need to rest. You work so hard at making a research and making a research. You are yet to get a topic of your interest. And that gives you, keep giving you stress. Over and over and over. You cannot stop it and get to a corner and talk to God about it. That is not the will of God. That must be a time of Harvest after the seed is sown. That must be it. You can't keep on managing sowing and sowing and sowing and sowing and sowing perpetually without reaping. It's not the will of God. It's not the will of God. For every promise and plan and purpose of God, God puts also in the package of it a rest. Hallelujah. What do I call it? You go to a walk and you have burden every day. Amen. Load of burden. You come crying. You're going to talk to God about it. Hallelujah. Somebody is always standing on your way and criticizing you at work. That is not rest God promises you. How can we worship God and mammon at the same time? How can we serve two masters? Christ says we can't serve two masters. If God has given you a job, it's your job. Amen. And you have the right to take ownership of that job. So you need to be confident this semester. Whatever job you have, 
I'll just give you trouble. You need to stand and tell the Lord, this job you gave it to me. That remains mine. Nothing else competes with me in this job. Because it was given to you by God. Whatever is standing to be terrorists in your life and try to make you afraid today, this semester, I pray that God will disfigure them. Now, let's ask Hassel, how can I get this rest? We are told in the scripture clearly, wait upon the Lord. Simply what? Wait upon the Lord. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Isaiah 40, verse 31 says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount out with wings as eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. That's rest. You continue to walk. You continue to run. But you will never faint. That's rest. You have peace in your heart when you are walking. That's rest. Anything you do that will take away your peace, it is not God's will for your life. That is the litmus test for whether something that you are doing comes from God. God is agreeing to it or not. You have an interview and, and the interview, after you left it, you have no peace in your heart. That may not be a job for you. Hallelujah. Learn how to read the sign of the time. Because we are not making conversation. We don't realize who we are. We don't enter into his rest. God will just be looking. Be only standing by the door is knocking. Listen, it's going to keep knocking until you open the door and ask him to come in and sit down. Even if you ask him to come in and you don't ask him to sit down, he will not sit down. That's how gentle the Holy Ghost is. Now we have to make ourselves available to enter his rest. That man has always given you issue. You need to stop him. Shut the mouth of lion by entering to your rest. God can't make you go through all this stress in life. You lose opportunities. And eventually, you get this job. After you work so hard, you apply to many places. And eventually, you got this school. Now, devil come with this big eyeball. To come, make, to come and make you afraid like a scarecrow. You're going to have to tell him. You, I don't belong to you. Praise the Lord. You know what you're telling me? You don't belong to him. You belong to God that repositions you. And you deserve your what? Your rest. Everybody say, I deserve my rest. I want to go into this semester with this confidence. You deserve your rest. You can't be jangling around. You can't be tossed here and there by people. You are not a servant of the devil. You are an unholy of God. And therefore, you need to understand, you need to enter. You go to cause yourself to enter. Everybody say, enter. We're going to pray this morning, Lord. Father, this semester, I'm entering to my rest. Whatever is pulling me back and making me to be recounting my failures. I'm putting my failures in front of me. I'm making me depressed every day. Today, put an end to it.